Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Lisa, where are you from? I'm from New York. What about you? I am from a small town in Texas. Do you like New York? Yes, it's a big city. There are many things to do. Oh, really? What things are there to do? Like going to museums, parks, and big shops. That sounds fun. Is it very busy? Yes, very busy. Many cars and people all the time. Wow, my town is different. It is very quiet. Quiet. That sounds nice. Yes, it is. We have lots of open space and farms. Farms? What do you grow? We grow corn and wheat mostly. That's interesting. Do you like living there? I do. It's peaceful, but not many things to do like in New York. I understand. Sometimes I want to be in a quiet place. You should visit sometime. The air is very clean. I would like that. Is it hot in Texas? Yes, very hot in the summer, but winters are not bad. Oh, in New York, it can get very cold in winter. I don't like the cold much. Me neither. But Christmas in New York is very pretty. I've seen pictures. All the lights look nice. They are. What is Christmas like in Texas? More simple. But we decorate our homes a lot. That sounds lovely. It is. You should visit Texas one day. And you should visit New York, too. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hello. Welcome to Happy Burger. My name is Anna. How can I help you? Hello, Anna. I'm just thinking about what I want to order. Our burger is very popular, and our pasta is good, too. Okay. I will have the burger, please. Great choice. Would you like fries with that? Yes, please. And what drinks do you have? We have water, soda, juice, and tea. I'll take a soda, please. Sure. Would you like anything else? Maybe a salad or soup? What kind of soup do you have? We have chicken soup and vegetable soup today. I'll try the chicken soup, please. Good choice. Anything for dessert? What do you have? We have ice cream, cake, and fruit. I'll think about dessert later. No problem. So one burger with fries, one soda, and one chicken soup. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, your food will be ready soon. Thank you, Anna. You're welcome. Enjoy your meal. I will. Thanks. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, John. How are you doing? To be honest, I'm actually not so good today. What happened? You look sad. I broke up with my girlfriend yesterday. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. What happened? We were fighting a lot. We were not happy. That's tough. Breakups are hard. How do you feel? I feel very sad and a little lost. That's normal. It takes time to feel better. Yes, I know. But it's very hard. Have you talked to anyone about it? Just you. I needed a friend to talk to. I'm here for you, John. Do you want to talk more about it? I don't know. The relationship was just not working. We tried. Sometimes that happens. People grow apart. 
Yes, I guess, but it hurts a lot. It's okay to feel hurt. It shows you cared. Thank you, Emily. That's nice of you to say. What will you do now? I don't know. Just try to move on, I guess. Maybe focus on things you like, like your hobbies. That's a good idea. I like playing guitar. See? Spend some time with your guitar. It will help. I will try that. Thank you. And if you want to talk, I am always here. I know, and I am thankful for that. Don't worry. You will feel better with time. I hope so, Emily. And you will find someone new one day. Maybe. But for now, I will focus on myself. That's a good plan. Thanks for talking, Emily. It helps. Anytime, John. We're friends. That's what friends do. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Bob. I heard you are taking guitar lessons. Yes, that's true. I just started last week. That's cool. How is it going? It's going okay. It's not easy, but I like it. I tried to play the guitar once, but it was too hard. I gave up. Oh, really? What made it hard for you? I found it hard to press the strings and remember the chords. I can understand. It is hard in the beginning. How do you keep going even when it's hard? Well, I really want to learn. And my teacher is very good. He helps me a lot. That's nice. A good teacher can make a big difference. Yes, he really does. He says it's okay to make mistakes. That's a good way to think. Maybe I gave up too quickly. It's never too late to try again, Alice. Maybe. What do you like about playing the guitar? I like making music. When I play even a simple song, it makes me happy. That sounds wonderful. Music can be very special. It is. Are you thinking of trying again? I might. You are making it sound fun. You should. And don't worry about it being hard. The more you practice, the easier it gets. That's good advice. Maybe I will try again. I hope you do. And if you need help, I can show you some basics. That would be great, Bob. Thank you. You're welcome, Alice. Let's both keep trying and not give up. Yes, let's do that. Thanks for the encouragement, Bob. No problem, Alice. I'm happy to help a friend. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Timmy, do you have any hobbies you like to do on the weekend? Yes, I like to read books and sometimes I go fishing. What about you? That's cool. I like to paint and listen to music. That's nice. What do you like to paint? I like to paint nature. Trees, flowers, and sometimes animals. That sounds lovely. Painting seems hard. I can't even draw a circle. It takes some practice, but it's very relaxing. I can imagine. How did you start painting? I started when I was a kid. My dad bought me a painting set and I just kept going. That's a nice story. I started fishing because of my grandpa. He used to take me when I was young. That's sweet. Do you catch a lot of fish? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, no. But I enjoy it anyway. It's peaceful. It does sound peaceful. I've never been fishing before. You should try it sometime. Maybe you can paint the lake or river while we fish. 
That's a great idea. We can both do our hobbies at the same time. Exactly. We should try this sometime soon. Maybe next weekend? That sounds good to me. Okay, it's a plan then. Great. I'll bring the fishing gear and you bring your painting stuff. Yes, I will. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. See you next weekend. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. John, I just got home. Why is the house still messy? Didn't you say you would clean the house? Oh, um, I forgot to clean the house. I'm really sorry, Lisa. How could you forget? My parents will be here in 30 minutes. I know. I messed up. What can I do now? It's too late now, John. There's no time to clean everything. I'm really sorry, Lisa. I know I let you down. You did. When you say you're going to do something, you should do it. I'm very angry right now. I understand why you're angry. I should have remembered. You should have, John. Now my parents will see our home like this. Let's try to clean a little, before they get here. A little. It won't make much difference now. I really am sorry, Lisa. I will make sure this doesn't happen again. You better make sure, because right now, I am very mad at you. I get it. I messed up. Let's just accept it. The house will be a bit messy when they come. Are you sure? We can still try clean a bit now. We don't have enough time. Okay, if you say so. And please, don't forget like this again. I promise I won't. You better not. Now let's try to get through this dinner without any more problems. Yes, let's do that. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. You look very nice tonight, Georgia. Thank you, Bob. This has been a nice date so far. I agree. So tell me about yourself. What do you like to do? Well, I like to read books and go hiking. I also like to cook. That's cool. What kind of books do you like? I like mystery books. They are very exciting. How about you? I like to read too, but I prefer science fiction. They make me think a lot. That's interesting. What else do you like to do? I like to play cricket on weekends. It's good exercise and fun. That sounds fun. Do you like to cook too? Not really. I'm not very good at it. I can make simple things like pasta. That's okay. I love cooking. Maybe I can cook for you one day. I would love that. What's your favorite food to cook? I like to cook Italian food, like spaghetti and lasagna. And I also like to cook spicy Indian curries. Yum. That sounds delicious. It is. So, what do you do for work? I'm an engineer. I work on building designs. That sounds like a hard job. It can be hard, but I like it. How about you? I'm a nurse. I work in a hospital. Wow, that's a very important job. Yes, it can be hard, but I like to help people. That's really nice. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a cat named Snowy. I love cats. I have a dog named Max. That's sweet. I like dogs, too. I think we have a lot in common. Yes, we do. It's good to learn more about each other. I agree. 
This has been a nice talk. Yes, it has. I enjoyed learning about you. And I enjoyed learning about you too. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Alex, I have some news to tell you. Oh, really? What is the news? I got a new job, and it's a really good job. That's great news, man. Where is it? Well, the job is in another city. I have to move cities. Does that mean you are not going to live here anymore? Yes, I have to move. I am sorry, Alex, but it's a good opportunity for me. I understand that. But we are best friends. I will be so bored without you. I know, Alex. It is sad. You're like a brother to me. So when are you moving? I am moving next month. That's very soon. Yes, it is. I have to start the new job very quickly. Will you come back to visit? Of course. And you must come to visit me too. I will, but it won't be the same. I know. It's hard for me too. But we can talk on the phone and video chat. Yeah, that's true. But I will miss hanging out with you in person. Me too, man. Our time together is special. Will you be back for holidays? Yes. For big holidays like Christmas, I will come back. That's good to hear. And we still have one month. We can do many fun things before I go. Yes, I guess we should make the best of that time. Definitely. Let's make some good memories. I agree. Even if you move, our friendship will not change. No, it won't. You're my best friend no matter where I am. You're my best friend too. I'm happy for you, but I'm sad you're going. Thank you. I feel the same. It's a hard choice, but we'll make it work. Yeah, we will. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Emily, what is your daily routine like? I always see you so busy. Well, my day starts early. I wake up at 6 a.m. First, I brush my teeth and then go for a run. Wow, that's early. I usually wake up at 7 a.m. What do you do after you wake up? I take a shower, then eat breakfast. I like to eat toast and drink coffee. I also eat breakfast after my run. I usually have fruit and yogurt. That sounds very healthy. Yes, I like to eat healthy in the morning. What do you do after breakfast? I start work at 8.30 a.m. I work from home, so I just go to my desk. I also work from home, but I start at 9 a.m. So at 9 a.m., I check my emails, then start working. I do the same. What do you do for lunch? I take a break at 1 p.m. for lunch. I usually eat a salad. I eat lunch at 12.30 p.m. I usually eat whatever is in the fridge. Do you cook? Not much. I usually eat simple things like sandwiches. After lunch, I work until 5 p.m. Then I like to read a book. That's nice. I finish work at 6 p.m. I am usually too tired to read, though. I watch TV instead. Watching TV is nice, too. What do you do before bed? I usually play video games for a bit. Then I go to bed at 10 p.m. That's fun. I like to do yoga before bed. It helps me sleep. I go to bed at 9 p.m. That sounds like a good way to end the day. Yes, it is. It's nice to know what your day is like, Jack. Same here, Emily. It's good to see how different our days are. 
Yes, it is. Everyone has their own way to go through the day. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Christina, how is your family doing? They are doing okay. Thanks for asking. My dad is working a lot, and my mom is busy with cooking and cleaning. My little brother is in school. What about your family? Well, my dad is retired now, so he likes to read books. My mom still works at the store, and my sister just started college. That's good to hear. What is your sister studying? She is studying business. She wants to work in a big company. Wow, that's interesting. My brother is still too young to think about college. He likes to play games. Games are fun. Kids love them. Yes, very true. So, is your mom happy working at the store? She is, but she also looks forward to retiring like my dad. She wants to travel. Traveling is fun. Where do they want to go? They want to visit Europe, places like France, Italy, and Germany. That sounds amazing. My parents also want to travel, but they are waiting for my brother to grow up a little more. Yes, traveling is easier when kids are older. Exactly. So, do you help your parents with anything? I do. I help my dad with computer stuff, and I help my mom with shopping. That's nice of you. I help my mom with cooking. That's great. Family is important. We should always help when we can. I agree. Family comes first. Yes, family makes us happy and gives us support. Very true, Mark. It was good talking to you, Christina. You too, Mark. Take care. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Emily, are you going to Jane's party tonight? I'm not sure yet. I have some work to do. How about you? I think I'll go. I want to see some old friends. And Jane's parties are always fun. Yes, they are. She knows how to make a party fun. Do you think you can finish your work before the party? Maybe. If I work fast, I can go to the party. That sounds good. The party starts at 8 p.m. Okay, I will try to finish my work by 7 p.m. Then I can get ready for the party. Great. Do you know who else is going? I think Sarah and Tom are going. They told me yesterday. Nice. It will be good to see them, too. Yes. It's been a long time. What will you wear to the party? I think I will just wear jeans and a t-shirt. It's a casual party, right? Yes, it is. Jane said not to dress fancy. Good. I like casual parties. Me too. Easier to have fun when you're comfortable. Exactly. Do you know if there will be any food at the party? Yes, Jane said she will have pizza and some snacks. That sounds good. I love pizza. Me too. Pizza is always good for a party. I agree. Well, I hope you can finish your work in time. Thank you, Mike. I will try my best. If you come, give me a call. We can go to the party together. That's a good idea. I will let you know. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Brian. I'm a bit stressed. I have a problem. Oh, no. What happened? My parents are coming to the airport today. I told them I would drive to the airport and pick them up. That sounds nice. Yes. 
but my work just called me and there's an emergency. I have to go to work soon. That's not good. What will you do? I don't know. My parents don't know the city well. What time do they arrive? They arrive at 4 p.m. And what time do you have to be at work? I have to be there at 3.30 p.m. Oh, that is close timing. Yes, I'm very worried. Don't worry, I can help. Really? How can you help? I can pick up your parents for you. Are you sure? I don't want you to have to drive all the way to the airport. It's no trouble. Friends help each other. Thank you so much, Brian. You are a good friend. You're welcome, Lisa. What is their flight number? It's flight 237. Okay, and where are they coming from? They are coming from Chicago. Sure. I will be there on time to pick them up. Thank you so much, Brian. I will tell my parents to look for you. Do they have a phone to call when they land? Yes, they do. Good. They can call me if they need to. You are saving me, Brian. I was so stressed. Don't worry, Lisa. Work is important and family is important. I'm happy to help you with both. You're the best. And don't forget to give me your parents' phone number. Of course, I will send it to you now. Great. Everything will be okay. Thanks to you, yes, it will be. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Samantha, how are you today? I'm good, Tom. How about you? I'm okay, but my old phone broke. So I had to buy a new one. Oh, no, that's bad. But a new phone sounds exciting. Yes, it's nice. But now I need to add everybody's phone number again. I see. Do you want my phone number for your new phone? Yes, please. That would be great. My number is 555-1234. Thanks. Let me put that in my phone. Wait, how do you spell your name again? It's S-A-M-A-N-T-H-A. -A. Got it. Thanks. Spelling is hard for me sometimes. No problem, Tom. It's better to ask than make a mistake. True. By the way, what are the good features on your phone? My phone has a good camera and long battery life. It's very useful. That's nice. My new phone has a very big screen. I like it. A big screen is good for watching videos and playing games. Yes, exactly. Do you play any games on your phone? Sometimes I play puzzle games. They're fun. I like sports games. They're my favorite. Yes, sports games are fun too. Oh, also, I have a new phone number too. Yes, I should get your new number too. My new number is 555-678. Thanks, Tom. I'll save it now. Great. I'm happy we can keep in touch. Me too, Tom. It's important to have your friend's phone numbers. Yes, very important. Thanks again for your number. You're welcome, and thank you for yours. Okay, I'll talk to you later, Samantha. Sure, talk to you later, Tom. Have fun with your new phone. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Wow, this beach is so nice. I'm happy we came here. Me too, Jimmy. The sun is nice, the water is beautiful, it's all so perfect. 
Yes, it's the best way to spend Saturday. The weather is so good. It's the perfect temperature. I agree. Do you want to go for a swim? Oh, I actually can't swim. Really? You never told me that. I never had a chance to learn. Swimming is fun. You should try it. I don't know, Jimmy. I'm a bit scared. The water is not deep here. I'll be with you. You make it sound easy, but I don't think I can. Well, that's fine. I guess we can just lay in the sand and relax. Yes, that sounds good. Relaxing is nice, too. Sure, and we can read our books. And listen to music. I have a small speaker. Great idea. What type of music do you like to listen to at the beach? Something light and happy. Maybe some pop music? I love pop music. It's good for a sunny day. Exactly. It makes everything more fun. So, no swimming. But that's fine because we have books and music. And we have each other. That's the best part. Okay, let's lay down our towels and relax. Perfect plan. Maybe next time we can try swimming. Maybe, Amy. We can take it slow. Until then, let's enjoy today. Yes, it is a beautiful day today. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hello there. Sorry to bother you, but do you have the time? Yes, I do have the time. It's 2 p.m. Thank you. I just want to be on time for the bus. I'm going to a show in the city. That sounds fun. I am actually new to this city. I'm trying to find fun things to do. Oh, that's nice. Are you visiting? Yes, I am here for a week. That's great. There's a lot to do here. What do you like? I like music, food, and parks. Perfect. We have many things for you. Really? Like what? For music, you can go to the music hall. Many bands play there. That sounds good. What about food? We have good food places. Do you like any kind of food? I like all kinds. Then you should go to Main Street. It has many food places. They have pizza, sushi, and more. That sounds great. And what about parks? We have a big park called Green Park. It has a lake and many trees. I love parks. I will go there. You should. It's very nice. Do you have a museum? Yes, we have the city museum. It's near Main Street. How do I get there? You can take bus 5 from here. Thank you. You are very helpful. You're welcome. I like helping people. Is the city safe at night? Yes, it's mostly safe. But like any city, be careful. Okay, I will remember that. Also on weekends, there's a night market. They sell crafts and food. I love night markets. I will go there too. You should. It's a lot of fun. You have told me many things to do. Thank you. No problem. Enjoy your time here. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Kate, do you like to exercise? Yes, I do. I like yoga and walking on the beach. How about you? That's nice. I like running and sometimes I go to the gym. Running is good exercise. It's good for the heart. Yes, it is. 
So tell me more about yoga. Yoga is good for the body and mind. It helps me relax. That's good. Is yoga hard to do? It is not too hard. There are easy poses for beginners. I see. And you like to walk on the beach? Yes, I love it. The sound of the sea is very calming. That sounds lovely. I like the sound of the sea too. It's very peaceful. It's good for thinking. I agree. Being near water is nice. Yes, it is. Do you exercise outside too? Sometimes. I like to run in the park when it's sunny. The park is a good place for that. Fresh air is good. Yes, fresh air is great. I love being outside. I agree. Outside is more fun. For sure. Do you exercise every day? Not every day, but maybe four times a week. That's good. Regular exercise is important. Yes, it is. Keeps you healthy. Do you have any tips for someone new to yoga? Start slow. Learn the basic poses first. And breathe slowly. Breathing is important in yoga, right? Very important. It helps you relax and focus. Good to know. Maybe I will try yoga sometime. You should. It's a good experience. I will think about it. Thank you for the advice. You're welcome. I'm happy to help. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Grace, I have good news to tell you. What is it? I want to know. My wife is pregnant. We're going to have a baby. That's amazing news. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you so much. We are both so excited. I can imagine. This is your first baby, right? Yes, this is our first. That's great. When is the baby coming? In about seven months. That's not too far away. No, it's not. We have to get ready. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? Not yet. We're going to find out soon. That will be another exciting day. Yes, we can't wait to know. Are you hoping for a boy or a girl? We are happy with either one. So, how is your wife feeling? She's okay. She's a little tired. That's normal. She needs to rest. Yes, she's resting a lot. Good. She should take it easy. I agree. I'm helping her as much as I can. That's good. You will be a great dad. I hope so. I'm reading books about how to be a good dad. Well, it's nice to see you getting ready to be a good parent. Yes, we really want to be good parents. I'm very happy for you, Chris. Thank you, Grace. Your words mean a lot to me. You're welcome. I'm excited for you. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Wow, it is so hot today. Yes, it's really hot. I can't believe how hot it is. Me neither. The sun is very strong. I know. I'm sweating a lot. Maybe we should go to my house. I have a pool. You have a pool. That's great. That would cool us down. Okay, let's go then. My house is not far. Great. Do I need to bring anything? Maybe bring a towel and some sunscreen. Good idea. Sunscreen is very important in this weather. 
Yes, we need to protect our skin from the sun. How big is your pool? It's not very big, but it's good for cooling off. That sounds perfect. So, do you like to swim? Yes, I love swimming, especially in hot weather. I agree. Swimming is so refreshing in hot weather. Do you swim often? Yes, I swim every weekend. It's nice to have a pool. I can imagine. I wish I had a pool. Well, you can come to my house and swim anytime. Thank you. That's very kind of you. All right. Let's go to my house and start swimming. Yes, let's go. I can't wait to jump in the pool. Great. This will be a good day. Yes, a very good day. Thank you for inviting me. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Tom, can I talk to you about something? Sure, Jessica. What do you want to talk about? Well, to be honest, I'm thinking of breaking up with my boyfriend. Are you serious? But you two look so happy together. I know it looks that way, but things are not good. What happened? Did he do something bad? No, he didn't do anything really bad. I think we are just too different. How are you different? We want different things in life. I want to travel and live in another city. He doesn't want to do that. He wants to stay here. Oh, I see. That is a big thing. Yes, it is. And we talk about it, but we don't find a solution. That's not good. How many times have you talked about it? Yes, we talked many times. But nothing changes. That's hard. But are you sure you actually want to break up? I'm not sure. That's why I'm thinking a lot. Breaking up is a big step. I know it is, and I still love him, but love is not enough sometimes. Wow, that's a big thing to say. It is, but it's true. What should I do? I can't tell you what to do, Jessica. This is your life and your choice. I know, but it's good to talk about it. It helps me think. I understand. If you're not happy, then I think something has to change. You're right. I need to think about my happiness, too. Exactly. Sometimes we need to make hard choices for ourselves. Yes, that's true. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome, Jessica. Whatever you decide, I will support you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. No problem. I hope everything will be okay for you. I hope so too, Tom. Thanks for listening. Anytime, Jessica. That's what friends are for. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Lily. I had such a crazy morning. Can I tell you the story of my morning? Oh, really? Yes. Tell me what happened, Jimmy. So, first, I woke up late. I was in a hurry. Oh, no, that's not a good start to your morning. Yeah, so I ran to the kitchen to make coffee. But guess what? What happened? I was still so sleepy. So I accidentally put salt in my coffee instead of sugar. Oh no! That's so funny, Jimmy. I know, right? It was so bad. I took a sip and almost spit it out. It tasted terrible. I can imagine. What did you do next? I had to throw it away. I had no time to make anymore. So I left the house. 
without coffee. You must have been really sleepy. I was very sleepy, and my morning then got even worse. How did it get any more worse? I was running to the bus stop, and because I was still a bit sleepy, I actually tripped over a rock and fell over. Oh, wow, Jimmy. Did you hurt yourself? I was fine, but people saw me and laughed. It was embarrassing. I think I would have laughed too. But wait, there is still more to the story. This is such a funny story. I can't believe there is more. I know. So I finally got to the bus stop. The bus came. Then guess what happened? Did you miss the bus? No, I got on the bus, sat down, and then realized I was on the wrong bus. Oh no, that's bad. What did you do? I had to get off at the next stop and wait for another bus. That is so crazy. Your morning was a mess, Jimmy. I know. I still can't believe all of that stuff happened in one morning. Well, that's one way to start the day, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll remember this morning for a long time. I bet you will. Thanks for the funny story. You're welcome. It's good to laugh at yourself sometimes. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. So, my birthday is coming up soon. I'm thinking of having a party. That's great. Parties are fun. But I don't know who to invite to the party. Well, start with your close friends, right? Sure. My close friends are you and Mike and Sarah. What about Emily? I don't know. Emily and I are not that close. She is nice, though, and she always invites us to her parties. That's true. Okay, I'll invite Emily, too. Good choice. What about your work friends? Yes, I can invite some work friends. Maybe I will invite Tony and Lisa. Sounds good. What about Jane from work? I'm not sure. Jane is always so loud. It's a bit annoying. Yeah, true. But it's a party. It will be loud anyway. Okay, fine. I'll think about Jane. How about your cousins? Like Bob and Sue? Yes, I will invite Bob. Not Sue, though. Is there a reason you don't want to invite Sue? She always argues with people. That's not what I want at my party. That's true. Good point. Should I invite my neighbors? Maybe just invite the ones you talk to often. Okay, I'll invite Mrs. Smith. I talk to her often. Are you inviting any of your old school friends? Maybe just Tim and Lily. What about Peter? No, Peter and I had a fight. We're actually not talking at the moment. Oh, okay. I understand. Better to keep the party happy. Exactly. So, is that everyone? I think that is enough people. Just make sure to not forget anyone. I will double-check my list later. Thanks for helping me. No problem. It will be a great party. I hope so. Thanks for helping me decide who to invite. You're welcome. Can't wait for the party. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, son. Can I talk to you? Okay, Dan. What do you want to talk about? You are getting older now. You need to start thinking about getting a job. A job. But, Dad, I don't want to work yet. I understand, but 
you need to start paying for things yourself. Why do I need to do that? You and mom pay for everything. Yes, but you are growing up. You need to learn about money and hard work. But I get money for my birthday and holidays. That's enough for me. That's not the same. When you work for money, you value it more. What does value mean, Dad? Value means how much something is important to you. I guess so, but work sounds boring. Work can be hard, but it is also rewarding. What does rewarding mean? Rewarding means it makes you feel good because you did something useful. I don't know, Dad. It still just seemed too hard for me. Listen, son. When you earn your own money, you can buy things you want. Like a new phone? Yes, like a new phone, or games, or clothes. That sounds nice, but I still don't want to work. It's not just about buying things. Work teaches you responsibility. What's responsibility? I don't know what that means. Responsibility means doing what you need to do, even when it's hard. I get it, but can I wait a bit longer until I get a job? I'm just not ready yet. The sooner you start, the sooner you learn these important things. Okay, Dad. I'll think about it. Good. I'm here to help you find a job when you're ready. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Remember, working hard helps you in life. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Eliza. I'm having a barbecue this weekend and I will cook a lot of meat. Do you want to come? That sounds fun, Tom. But I won't be eating meat. I'm a vegetarian. Vegetarian? What's that? It means I don't eat meat. No chicken, no fish, no beef, no meat at all. Really? Why would you do that? Humans need meat to live healthy. I actually don't agree with you, Tom. Being a vegetarian is better for my health. It's also good for the planet. How is it good for the planet? Well, making meat takes a lot of water and land. It also makes a lot of pollution. I guess I never thought about that. But meat is so tasty. I used to think so too. But now I like other foods. What foods do you like now? Like vegetables, fruits, and grains. You can make many tasty dishes with them. Maybe, but humans have always eaten meat. That's true, but times are changing. We know more now. Know more? About what? About how meat affects our health and the earth. It's good to make better choices. Okay. But I need to build muscle, so I need to eat meat to get protein. You can get protein from other foods too, like beans and nuts. Really? Is that true? Yes, it is. Many athletes are vegetarians, and they are very strong. Okay, I didn't know that, but I'm still going to keep eating meat. That's okay, Tom. I won't judge you for eating meat. So, will you still come over for my barbecue? Yes, I'll come, but I'll bring my own food. That works for me. Maybe you can make me try some. I would be happy for you to try some. And maybe I can make you eat meat again. I don't think that's going to happen, Tom. I understand. I'll see you this weekend then. Yes, I will see you this weekend, Tom. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. I'm really worried about tomorrow. I have a big university exam tomorrow. 
Oh no, that sounds stressful. Are you ready for it? No, I am not ready at all. I still have so much to study. Well, maybe I can help. What's the exam about? It's about history. There are so many dates and names to remember. I have an idea. Why don't I come over tonight and quiz you? If you get a question wrong, we can find the right answer together. That sounds like a good plan. I really need help. Great. What time should I come over? How about 7 p.m.? That works for me. Should I bring anything? Maybe bring some snacks. Studying makes me hungry. All right, I will bring lots of snacks. Thank you for the help. I'm really nervous about the exam. Don't worry. We'll make sure you're ready. Yes, I really want to do well. My grades are important for my future. And that's why we will study hard tonight. But also, don't be too hard on yourself. I'll try not to be. It's just hard when there's so much pressure. I get it. Exams can make you feel that way. But you're not alone. We'll get through this together. You're a really good friend. Thank you for helping me. Okay, so I will see you at 7? Yes, see you at 7. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, do you have a favorite TV show? Not really. I don't watch too much TV. How about you? Oh, okay. I watch a lot of TV. I love watching sports. That's cool. Sports are fun to watch, I guess. They really are. It's so exciting. Do you not like sports? It's not that I don't like them. I just don't have much time to watch TV. That's true. You have a busy life. Yes, very busy. Work, family, and everything else. So, what do you do when you have free time? I like to read or go for a walk. That's more relaxing for me. Reading is good. What kind of books do you like? Mostly fiction. Sometimes I read history or science books. Nice. But you never watch TV at all? Well, sometimes I watch the news. Or maybe a movie. Yes, the news is important. Yes, it is. I like to know what's happening in the world. Me too. But I also like shows that make me laugh. Does that mean you watch comedy shows? Yeah, they're so funny. They make me forget my problems. That sounds nice. Maybe I should watch some comedy too. You should. It's good for you to laugh. I'll think about it. If I have the time. Fair enough. You do what makes you happy. Exactly. But I won't say no if someone wants to watch a good movie. Good to know. Maybe next time we can watch a movie together. That sounds like a good plan. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Jenny, what do you do for work? I work at a store. I sell clothes. That's cool. Do you enjoy it? Yes, I like it. I meet many people and it's fun. That's good. Meeting people is nice. What kind of clothes do you sell? We sell many things. Dresses, shirts, shoes, and other things. Sounds good. Is the store busy? Sometimes. Weekends are very busy. I can imagine. 
Many people shop on weekends. Yes, they do. What about you, though? What do you do for work? I work in an office. I use a computer a lot. What kind of work do you do on the computer? I write reports. I also answer emails. Is it hard? Not really, but it can be boring. Yes,、yeah, sitting all day can be boring. Definitely. I wish I could move more. At my job, I stand a lot. Sometimes my feet hurt. Standing all day is also hard. Yes, but I like talking to customers. That's nice. Do you want to do this job for a long time? Maybe. I also think about going to university. University is a good idea. What do you want to study? I want to study art. I like to draw. That's great. Art is very interesting. It is. I want to learn more. You should. Learning is always good. I agree. What about you? Will you work in an office forever? I don't know. Maybe I will try something new. Trying new things is good. Yes, it is. Well, it was nice talking to you. You too. Have a good day at work. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. I am really annoyed about what happened to me yesterday. Really? What happened? My brother took my car without asking me. I was angry. Wow, that's not nice. How did you find out? I needed to go to the store, and when I went outside, my car was gone. I was so worried. That's really bad. What did you do? I called my brother. He said he was at his friend's house. I was so annoyed. I can understand why you were annoyed. That's really selfish of him. Yes, it's so selfish. It's my car. He should ask me first. Of course. You should always ask before you take someone else's things. Exactly. He said he was in a hurry and didn't have time to ask. That's no excuse. Even if he is in a hurry, he could have called you or sent you a text message. I told him the same thing. It's not okay for him to do that. Did he say sorry? Yes, he did. But it does make it okay. I needed my car. That's true. Saying sorry is good, but it doesn't fix the problem. Yes, now I feel like I can't trust him with my things. That is annoying. Trust is important. What should I do now? You should talk to him. Make sure he knows this can't happen again. I will do that. Because it's not fair. No, it's not. And if he does it again, maybe hide your car keys. That's a good idea. I hope I don't have to do that, though. Me too. But sometimes you have to take steps to protect your stuff. You're right. We all have family issues sometimes. What is important is how we deal with them. True. I'll talk to him today. Good. Let me know how it goes. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Freddy. How are you going? Well, to be honest, I've been feeling a bit lonely lately. Oh, no. That's not good. Why do you think you're feeling lonely? I just feel like I need to meet new people. Okay, so maybe you should try to do that. But the problem is, I'm really shy. Oh, I guess being shy can make it hard to meet people. 
I know. I don't even know where to meet new people. What about joining a club or a group that interests you? It's easier to talk to people when you have something in common. That sounds like a good idea, but I get nervous around new people. I don't know what to say. I get that. Starting conversations with new people can be hard. But remember, they might be as nervous as you. Do you think so? Sure. Everyone feels a bit nervous meeting new people. You're not alone in this. That's true. Maybe I should try to join a club or something. You should. And if you're worried about what to talk about, just ask them questions. People like talking about themselves. That's a good tip. Asking questions can keep the talk going, right? Exactly. Then they do all the talking instead of you. That makes sense. Thank you for the advice. No problem. If you want, I can go with you the first time to make it less scary. Really? That would be great. Great. I'm happy to help. You're a good friend. I feel better now. I'm glad to hear that. So let's find a club to join. Yes, let's do it. I'm ready to try. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Catherine, how are you doing today? To be honest, I'm not doing great. Oh, no. What happened? I had a bad day at work. My boss was not happy with me. That's tough. Why was he not happy? I made a mistake on a project and he got angry. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be too hard on yourself. I know, but it's still not good. What was the mistake? I forgot to include some important information in a report. I guess that's not good, but can you fix it? Yes, I can fix it, but it made me look bad. I get it. No one wants to make mistakes at work. And then, on my way home, I missed my bus. That's not good. No, it's not. I had to wait for 30 minutes for the next bus. Wow, that's annoying. Yes, very annoying. I just wanted to go home and relax. I can imagine. Well, did anything good happen to you today? Not really. It was all bad from the start. I'm sorry to hear that. Sometimes we have bad days. Yeah, I know. But it's hard when it's all happening at once. I understand. What will you do now? I think I'll go home and take a long bath. Maybe watch a movie. That sounds like a good plan. Sometimes you need to take care of yourself. You're right. I need to forget today and start fresh tomorrow. That's a good attitude. Don't let one bad day bring you down. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Bridget. How are you doing? I'm good, John. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm fine. Hey, how are your kids? They are doing well. My oldest is now in second grade. Wow, she is so much older. Is she enjoying school? Yes, she likes math class. What about your kids? Oh, they're fine. My son is playing soccer now. That's great. Is he good at it? He's okay, but he really enjoys it. That's what matters, right? Yes, of course. As long as he's happy. And what about your son, Timmy? Is he still in daycare? Yes, he is. He likes drawing and painting a lot. That's cute. 
Kids can be so creative. Yes, they can. My house is full of his art. I can imagine. My daughter loves to sing. Really? That's awesome. Yes, she's always making up her own songs. They're really funny. Kids are so full of surprises. Very true. Do your kids have any plans for summer? We're thinking about a summer camp, but we're not sure yet. We did that last year. It was good for them. Really? Maybe we should try it then. I recommend it. It gives them something fun to do. That's a good point. I'll talk to my partner about it. Sounds good. It's nice to catch up on how our kids are doing. Yes, it is. Time goes by so fast. I know. One day they are babies, and the next they are all grown up. You're so right. We have to enjoy these moments. Absolutely. Let's make plans for a play date soon, so our kids can play together. Good idea. The kids would love that. Great. I'll call you later this week so we can set it up. Yes, that would be great. It was nice talking to you. You too. See you later, Bridget. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Tom. Do you have plans for the weekend? Not really. I was going to stay at home and relax. Well, Jenny is having a party on Saturday. Do you want to come? A party? Um, I'm not sure. But it will be fun. There will be music, food, and games. That sounds nice, but I really want to have a quiet weekend. Are you sure? Jenny would be really happy if you come. I know, but I've been very busy at work. I need some time to rest. But it's only for a few hours. You can still have time to relax. I don't know. When I go to parties, I usually get home late and feel tired the next day. What if we go early and leave early? Then you can still get some rest. I think I'd rather stay home, Sarah. But you might meet some new people or see old friends. I just really need a break this weekend, okay? All right, I get it. I won't push you anymore. Thanks for understanding. Maybe next time. Sure, maybe next time. You seem very sure about having a relaxing weekend. Yes. Sometimes I do like to have quiet weekends. Okay, that's fair. Everyone needs some quiet time. Yes, exactly. So, are you going to the party? Yeah, I'll go. Jenny is a good friend, and I want to be there for her. That's nice of you. Have fun and tell Jenny I said hi. I will. Take care and enjoy your quiet weekend. Thanks. You too. Have fun at the party. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hello, son. How was school today? Hmm. It was okay. Really? Because your school just called me. They said you were not there today. Is that true? Okay, I didn't go to school today, Mom. So you lied to me? Why did you skip school and not tell me? I don't like school. I don't want to go. That's not a good reason. You have to go to school. It's important. But it's boring and I don't like the teachers. Son, we all have to do things we don't like. That's part of life. But why is school so important? 
School gives you knowledge. Knowledge helps you have a good future. If you don't go to school, it's hard to get a good job. But I can get a job without school, Mom. Maybe you can get a small job, but not a good job that pays well. And what about learning? Don't you want to be smart? I can learn other ways, not just school. School is a place to learn many things. Math, science, how to read and write. All of these are important. Well, I still don't like it. You can't just skip school because you don't like it. When you do that, you break the rules and there are consequences. What are consequences? What does that mean? Consequences are things that happen when you do something wrong. Like, if you skip school, maybe you get bad grades or get in trouble. I guess I don't want bad grades. Then you should go to school and try your best. Okay, fine, Mom. I will go to school. Good. Skipping school is not good. It makes me very disappointed. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't want to make you disappointed. Just promise me you will go to school and not skip anymore. I promise, Mom. I won't skip school anymore. Thank you. Now go do your homework. You need to catch up. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Tina, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. But I need to ask you something. Sure. What do you need to ask me? I'm going out for dinner with a friend this weekend. Can you look after my child for a few hours while I am out at dinner? Okay. What day and what time? It's on Saturday. From 6 p.m. to 9 p.m.? Is that okay for you? Yes, I'm free. I can do that. Thank you so much, Greg. I really appreciate it. No problem. I am happy to help. Does your child have any special needs or rules I should know? She needs to eat dinner by 7 p.m. And bedtime is at 8.30 p.m. Okay, sure. What does she like to eat? She likes pasta and chicken. I will leave some food for her. That sounds good. What should I do if she doesn't want to sleep? You can read her a book. She has many books in her room. All right, I can do that. Does she have any allergies? Yes, she is allergic to peanuts, so please be careful. I will be very careful. Don't worry. Thank you. She also loves to draw. You can also do that with her. Drawing sounds fun. I can bring some coloring books, too. She would love that. Do you know how to get to my house? Yes, I remember. You live near the big park, right? Yes, that's right. I'll also leave my phone number on the fridge in case you need to call me. Good idea. I'll save it in my phone, too. Great. This is very nice of you, Greg. I'll see you on Saturday, then. Sure, see you then. Have fun at your dinner. I will. Thanks again for helping me out. You're welcome. See you on Saturday. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Fred. How are you doing? I'm okay, but I am very tired. Oh, really? Why are you so tired? I have been having trouble getting sleep. Oh, no. That's not good. 
How many hours are you sleeping? Maybe three or four hours each night. I feel very tired. That's not enough sleep. You need more for good health. I know, but I can't fall asleep. I'm awake all night. Have you tried anything to help you sleep? Not really. I'm not sure what to do. Maybe you can try some simple things first, like don't drink coffee before bed. I do drink coffee around 4 p.m. Maybe that's a problem. Yes, it could be. Coffee keeps you awake. I will stop drinking coffee before bed. Do you have any other ideas? You can try to make the room dark and quiet. That helps some people sleep. My room is sometimes noisy. I can try to make it quiet. Good. Also, don't use your phone before sleep. The light from the phone is not good for sleep. I do use my phone a lot. I didn't know it can stop me from sleeping. It can. Maybe read a book instead of using the phone. I can try that. If you still can't sleep, maybe you should see a doctor. They can help you find out what is wrong. I will try these things first. If it doesn't work, I will go to a doctor. That sounds like a good plan. Good sleep is very important for your health. Yes, I know. I want to sleep better. Thank you for your advice. You're welcome. I hope you sleep better soon. Me too. I need to feel better. I'm so tired. Good luck. Let me know if you need more help. I will. Thank you. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Grace. I have some big news. Really? Tell me. What is it? I passed all my studies. That means I am now a doctor. Wow. That is amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It was a long journey, but I did it. I am finally a doctor. How many years did it take? It took me eight years of studying medicine. That's a long time. But it's worth it, right? Yes, it's worth it. Now I can help people. What kind of doctor are you? I am a family doctor. I can help people of all ages. That's great. Family doctors are important. Yes, they are. I'm happy to do this job. When do you start working? I start next month. It is so soon. I have to be ready. Do you feel nervous? I do feel a little nervous. It is a big responsibility. I'm sure you'll do great. You worked hard for this. Thank you for believing in me, Grace. I have always believed in you, and I'm very proud of you. Thanks. That means a lot to me. So, are you going to celebrate? Yes, I am having a small party this weekend. You should come. Of course. I will be there. I wouldn't miss it. Great. I want all my friends to be there. We all want to celebrate with you. That will make the day even more special. I agree. I will see you at the party. I look forward to seeing you there. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hello, teacher. Can you help me with something? Hello, Jenna. How can I help you today? I want to speak English better. I want to be fluent. That's a great goal. You already speak well, but you can always get better. 
Yes. What can I do to speak like a native? First, you should practice every day. Speak English with friends or family. I do try to speak English every day. Do you have any other suggestions? That's good. You can also watch English movies or listen to English music. I watch movies sometimes. That's good. Try to understand the words they say. I will. But what if I don't understand some words? Write them down. Then look up their meaning. Try to use them in sentences. That's a good idea. You can also read English books. Start with easy books, then read harder ones. I like reading. I will do that. Another thing you can do is to write in English. Maybe try writing in a journal. A journal? Is that like a diary? Yes, exactly. You can write down your thoughts or what you did in your day. I never thought about that. Yes, writing helps you think in English. It makes your mind work. Okay, I will try writing in a journal every day. Good. One more thing, do not be scared to make mistakes. But mistakes are bad. No, mistakes help you learn. When you make a mistake, you remember better next time. That's true. I will not be scared. Great. So practice speaking, watch movies, read books, write in a journal, and don't be scared of mistakes. Yes, I understand. Thank you for all these suggestions, teacher. You're welcome. Keep working hard and you'll become fluent. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Wow, the weather is so nice today. The sun is shining. Yes, it's a beautiful day. I'm so happy to see the sun. Me too. We should do something fun outside. That's a good idea. What can we do? Um, maybe we could go to the beach. The beach is nice, but it might be crowded. That's true. What about a bike ride? Bike ride sounds fun, but I don't have a bike. Oh, okay. How about a hike in the park? Hiking is good, but I don't have the right shoes for it. I see. Well, we could go on a picnic. A picnic? That's a great idea. I think so, too. We can bring sandwiches, fruit, and drinks. Yes, and maybe some chips and cookies, too. Perfect. So where should we have the picnic? How about the lake? It's quiet and has nice views. The lake is a great spot. I like that idea. Good. Let's do it. What time should we go? How about we meet at 1 p.m.? 1 p.m. works for me. Great. I'll bring a blanket and some plates. I'll bring the food and drinks. Sounds like a plan. I'm so excited. Me too. It will be a fun day. It's the best way to enjoy the sun. I agree. I love picnics. Me too. They're simple, but so enjoyable. Exactly. And it's a good way to relax. See you at 1 p.m. by the lake. See you then. It will be a great day. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Emma. How are you? Hi, Mike. I'm good. How about you? I'm doing well, thank you. So, summer's coming up. Do you have any plans? Yes, I'm excited for summer. 
I'm going to visit my grandma. That's nice. Where does your grandma live? She lives near the beach. It's a beautiful place. The beach sounds fun. Will you swim a lot? Yes, I love swimming. And the food is good too. Food is always important. What will you eat? Lots of fish and fruits. My grandma cooks very well. That sounds tasty. How long will you stay? I will stay for two weeks. What about you? Do you have any plans for the summer? I'm going camping with some friends. Oh, that sounds fun. What will you do there? We will do many things. Hiking, fishing, and making a fire. Making a fire? That's cool. Yes, it's part of the adventure. Will you sleep in tents? Yes, we will sleep in tents and look at the stars. I love stars. They are so beautiful. Me too. It is so peaceful to look at them. It is. How many friends are going? There's about five of us going. Wow, that sounds so fun. So, are you going alone to your grandma's? No, my sister will come too. That's nice. Sisters make good company. They do. I can't wait for summer to start. Me neither. Summer is the best time of the year. I agree. Well, I have to go now. I hope you have a good time camping. I hope you have a good time at your grandma's. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Brian, I got a new haircut. What do you think? Oh, wow. It looks different. But do you like it? Um, yes, I like it. It doesn't sound like you like it. I think you are just lying to me to make me feel better. No, I like it. I think I just need time to get used to it. It's a big change. You can be honest with me, Brian. Do you like it or not? Okay, if you really want me to be honest. I don't think this haircut suits you, Sarah. But maybe when it grows longer, it will look better. Oh, okay. I was hoping you would like it. I just wanted to change my hair. I understand that. We all need to change things sometimes. It's just that I liked your old hairstyle. It was really nice. I wish I knew this before. I thought it would look good on me. Don't be upset. Maybe in a few days I'll start liking it more. It's just new to me. I appreciate your honesty, but it just hurts my feelings because I thought it looked nice. I'm really sorry. I didn't want to hurt your feelings, but you wanted me to be honest. Maybe other people will like your haircut. That's true. Maybe other people will like it. And maybe you just have to get used to it. Exactly. And also, it doesn't matter what I think about it. If you think you look good, that's what matters. That's true. But you are my husband, so next time I will ask you before making a big change. Good idea. Also, it's just hair. It will grow back. You're beautiful no matter what. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. I am so stressed right now. Work has been so busy. You do look stressed. You need to relax. It's not good to be too stressed. I know, but there's so much work to do. 
I can't stop thinking about it. If you're stressed, you won't do good work. You need to relax more. But how do I relax more? You could try deep breathing. Breathe in slowly and then breathe out slowly. That will help calm you down. Deep breathing. I've heard of that. Does it really work? Yes, it does. It helps me a lot. You can also try listening to soft music. That's a good idea. I like listening to music. Great. Also, have you tried walking? Sometimes a short walk in the park can help. I haven't tried that. Maybe I should try walking outside more. It's simple and works well. Being with nature is relaxing. And also, don't forget about sleep. Are you sleeping well? Not really. I've been staying up late because of work. That's not good. Sleep is very important. You should try to sleep at least seven or eight hours. Okay, I'll try get more sleep. Do you have any other ways to reduce stress? Yes. Have you thought about doing some exercise, like yoga or swimming? It can help reduce stress. Yoga. That sounds interesting. Maybe I can join a yoga class. That's a good idea. Yoga is very calming. And remember, talking to someone helps too. You can always talk to me. Thank you. It's good to have a friend like you. I'll try these things. You're welcome. Take care of yourself. We all need to relax sometimes. Thanks. I'll try. Let's go for that walk now. That sounds great. Let's go. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Tina, can I talk to you about something? I am very scared about tomorrow. Oh, really? What is happening tomorrow, Jack? I have to go to hospital tomorrow. I'm having surgery on my heart. Oh, wow. That is scary, Jack. Are you okay? I'm trying to be strong, but I'm very scared. I have never had surgery before. You must be feeling so nervous. If I was you, I would be scared too. But remember, doctors do these surgeries every day. They know what they're doing. I know, but it's still hard. I keep thinking about what could go wrong. I can understand that. But maybe we can think of some ways to make you feel better before this surgery? I would like that. Do you have any ideas? Well, first, do you trust your doctor? Yes, he seems very experienced, and everyone says he's very good. That's a good start. Maybe you can talk to him again and ask any questions you have. Knowing more about the surgery might make you feel less scared. That's true. I do have some questions. Maybe I'll write them down and ask him tomorrow before the surgery. Great idea. And also, do you have someone coming with you? It might be good to have a close friend or family member there. They can support you. My sister will be there. She is taking the day off work to come with me. That's good to hear. Maybe you both can bring a movie or a book to watch or read while waiting. It will help pass the time. That sounds like a good plan. I also do have some calming music on my phone. Maybe I can listen to that. Music is a great idea. 
it can really help calm you down. And remember to do some deep breathing if you start to feel too scared. I'll try that. I just wish the surgery was already over. But soon, it will be over. And you will be feeling better. The surgery is to help you, remember? Yes, I need to remember that. The surgery is for my health. Exactly. And after the surgery, I'll come visit with your favorite snacks. We can have a little celebration. I would like that. Thanks, Tina. Talking to you makes me feel a bit better. Just take it one step at a time. Tomorrow will be over soon. And you will be okay. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Jane, do you want to go out for dinner tonight? Yes, I would love to go out for dinner, James. Where should we go? Maybe we should go to that new sushi restaurant. I heard it's good. Sounds great. I love sushi. Perfect. Should we invite Sarah, too? Oh, actually, I don't really want to invite Sarah. Really? Why? You two are good friends. I know, but we had a fight. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? Well, I found out she is not very nice. She only thinks about herself. I'm surprised. You two seemed so close. What did she do? Last week, she borrowed my favorite book and lost it. When I asked her about it, she didn't say sorry. She said it was my fault for giving it to her. That is not very nice of her. That was not your fault. It was her fault for losing the book. Yes. And that's not all. She never helps anyone. I think she's selfish. I understand how you feel. Friends should care about each other and want to help each other. Yes, exactly. So I don't think I want to be friends with her anymore. It's hard when friends change or show who they really are. Yes, she has shown me that she is not a nice person. Well, let's just go to dinner without her. Just you and me. Thanks, James. I appreciate it. And thanks for listening. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Emily, how are you doing this week? Are you feeling okay after your breakup? Hey, Chris. I'm doing okay, but it's hard. I feel sad. I'm sorry that you still feel sad. Breakups are tough. I was sad too when I had a breakup. Yeah, I miss him. It's strange without him. I know. You're used to him being around. But it gets better. You'll feel okay again. Some days I'm okay, but some days I want to cry. It is okay to cry, Emily. It helps. Thanks, Chris. Some of my friends just tell me to stop being sad, but it's not easy. Everyone feels better in their own time. Just take care of yourself. I am trying to do things to make me feel better. I am reading more books now, and I'm going for more walks. That's good. Maybe you can try something new, like dancing. Dancing? Maybe. I guess that could be fun. Yes, it's fun and you can make new friends. Thanks, Chris. Talking to you helps. I'm glad that it helps, Emily. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Jake. 
How's work going for you? Oh, to be honest, I actually quit my job last week. Oh, really? That's a big change. What happened? Yes, it was a big decision. I was not happy there. The work was too much, and I didn't have time for my family. That's tough. Family is important. And being happy is very important, too. So, what's your plan now? I'm thinking of taking a small break. Spend some time with my family. Maybe travel a little. After that, I will look for a new job. That sounds like a good plan. A break can help you think about what you really want. Do you know what kind of job you want next? I've been thinking about that. I want a job I really enjoy. Maybe something close to home. Or maybe start my own small business. Starting your own business. That's a big step. But it can be good if it works out. Yes, it's just an idea for now. I've always wanted to open a burger shop, but I need to think more and plan it. A burger shop sounds nice. I would definitely come visit your store. But you're right, planning is important. Yes, and I also need to save some money for that. So maybe I'll get a part-time job for now, just until I decide. That sounds smart. And remember, if you need help or advice, you can always ask. Thank you. That means a lot. It's a big change, and I'm a bit scared. But I hope it's for the best. Change can be scary, but sometimes it's needed. I think you're brave for making this choice. Thanks for the support. It's good to talk to friends about this. Makes me feel better. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. John, I need to talk to you. Yes, boss. What do you need to talk about? You were 15 minutes late for work today. Why were you late? I'm sorry, boss. Today, there was lots of traffic. There were so many cars on the road. But John, there are always cars on the road. You should leave your home early. When you're late, it's a problem for us. I know. I'm really sorry, boss. John, everyone here comes on time. They leave their homes early so they get to work on time. You need to do that, too. I understand, boss. I will try to leave my home earlier from now. This is not the first time you've been late. You were late last week, too. Yes, boss. I know. Just give me one more chance. I promise I won't be late again. I like this job, and I don't want to lose it. I hope you can keep that promise, John. Because if you continue to show up late, I might have to find someone else. I don't want that, boss. I will try harder. I will make sure I wake up early and leave my home early. Good. Remember, we all need to do our part. We are a team. Yes, boss. I know. I'm sorry and thank you for talking to me. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Anna, I'm very nervous about something. Can I talk to you about it? Sure, Tom. What are you nervous about? I need to do a speech tomorrow at work. There will be over 100 people there. Wow, Tom. That is lots of people. How do you feel about it? I am very nervous. I don't like speaking in front of many people. 
My heart beats fast and my hands shake. I can understand that. It sounds scary to me, too. But I think you can do it. Have you practiced the speech? Yes, I've practiced at home. But when I think about all of the people watching me, I get very nervous. I have an idea. You can try practicing in front of a few friends first. It might help you feel more confident. That sounds good. I might try that, but I'm still nervous. What if I make a mistake in front of everyone? Everyone makes mistakes, Tom. If you make a mistake, just take a deep breath and keep going. Most people won't even notice. Thanks, Anna. That's good advice. But I'm also worried about forgetting what I want to say. Maybe you should write your speech on some notes or cards and take them with you, in case you forget what to say. That might be a good idea. I did not think of that. Yes, I think it will help to have some cards with you. If you forget what to say, you can look at them quickly. Yes, I will make some cards tonight. What if my voice shakes or I speak too fast? If you feel nervous, take a deep breath before you start. And remember to make pauses after sentences. It will give you a moment to think and calm down. Thank you, Anna. I will try that. I just wish I wasn't so nervous. It's normal to be scared. But think about this. You were chosen to give the speech because people believe in you. They want to hear what you have to say. That's true. I need to remember that. Maybe I can imagine that I'm just talking to one person, not 100 people. That's a great way to think about it. Just focus on one friendly face in the crowd and speak to them. I'll try that. Thanks for the help, Anna. You're welcome, Tom. I know you can do it. Let me know how it goes. Sure. I will talk to you tomorrow about it, after I have finished. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Bobby. Look, I got new glasses. Do you like them? Oh, Amy, they look nice on you. I like the shape. It fits your face well. Thank you, Bobby. I was worried they might not look good. I tried many glasses before choosing these. Choosing glasses is hard. There are so many shapes and colors. But you made a good choice. Thanks. It took me a long time. The store had so many options. But when I saw these, I thought they were special. Well, they look great. I also bought something new. I got this new t-shirt. Do you like it? Oh, nice. It's very cool. I love the color. Thank you. There was a big sale at the store so it costs less money than usual. That's great. It's always nice to find good things on sale. Did they have other colors? Yes, they had red, green, and yellow too. But I thought blue looked the best on me. I agree. Blue is your color. And it matches with many things. That's what I thought, too. So, are your glasses comfortable to wear? They are. At first, they felt a little tight. But now, they're okay. And I can see so clearly. Everything looks bright and sharp. 
That's the best thing about new glasses. Everything looks clearer. Yes, it's like seeing the world in a new way. I'm happy with them, and I'm happy you like them too. I really do, and I'm glad you like my new t-shirt. I do, Bobby. It's simple but stylish, and the blue is so bright. It's a happy color. Thank you, Amy. We both bought cool things today. Yes, we did. It's always fun to buy something new. It makes you feel good. I agree. And it's even better when your friend likes it too. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Emily, what is your daily routine like? I always see you so busy. Well, my day starts early. I wake up at 6 a.m. First, I brush my teeth and then go for a run. Wow, that's early. I usually wake up at 7 a.m. What do you do after you wake up? I take a shower, then eat breakfast. I like to eat toast and drink coffee. I also eat breakfast after my run. I usually have fruit and yogurt. That sounds very healthy. Yes, I like to eat healthy in the morning. What do you do after breakfast? I start work at 8.30 a.m. I work from home, so I just go to my desk. I also work from home, but I start at 9 a.m. So at 9 a.m., I check my emails, then start working. I do the same. What do you do for lunch? I take a break at 1 p.m. for lunch. I usually eat a salad. I eat lunch at 12.30 p.m. I usually eat whatever is in the fridge. Do you cook? Not much. I usually eat simple things like sandwiches. After lunch, I work until 5 p.m. Then I like to read a book. That's nice. I finish work at 6 p.m. I am usually too tired to read, though. I watch TV instead. Watching TV is nice, too. What do you do before bed? I usually play video games for a bit. Then I go to bed at 10 p.m. That's fun. I like to do yoga before bed. It helps me sleep. I go to bed at 9 p.m. That sounds like a good way to end the day. Yes, it is. It's nice to know what your day is like, Jack. Same here, Emily. It's good to see how different our days are. Yes, it is. Everyone has their own way to go through the day. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Dad. I have something to tell you. I have a date this weekend. Really? That's great news, son. Who are you going on a date with? Her name is Lily. We are going to the movies. That sounds like a fun plan. Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited, but I'm also a bit nervous. Do you have any advice for me? Just be yourself and make sure to talk and ask her questions. But what if I get too nervous and I don't know what to say? That's okay. Sometimes it's good to listen more than talk. Ask her questions about herself, like what movie she likes or what hobbies she has. That's a good idea, Dad. Do you have any more advice? Yes. Be kind to her. Make sure you open the door for her. Small things can make a big difference. And should I pay for the movie tickets and the snacks? It's nice to do that. But if she wants to pay for her own, that's okay too. Just make sure to talk about it and be understanding. 
Okay, I understand, Dad. Do you have any more questions, son? Yes, I do. Were you nervous on your first date with Mom? I was very nervous. But your mom was so kind, and we found many things to talk about. Just like I said, be yourself and try to enjoy the moment. Thanks, Dad. That helps a lot. I just want it to go well. I understand. But remember, it's just one date. If it goes well, that's great. If it doesn't go well, it's not a big deal. That's true. Thanks, Dad. I really appreciate your advice. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hey, Brian. What is your job? I work in finance. So, my work is mostly about money and numbers. Oh, that sounds interesting. So, what do you do in your job? I help people manage their money. And I tell people where they can put their money so their money can grow. It's like helping them make a good plan for their future. That sounds very important. You must be good with numbers. Yes, I work with numbers a lot. But it's also about understanding people and what they want for their future. What about you? What is your job? I am a real estate agent, so I help people buy and sell houses. Wow, that's really cool. So, you show houses to people and help them find their new home. Yes, exactly. I help people find the right house for them. It feels good when they find a place they love. I can imagine. It must be nice to see people happy when they find the perfect home. How did you decide to become a real estate agent? I've always liked looking at houses. And I like to imagine how I would decorate the inside of the house. Plus, I enjoy meeting new people. So, this job is a good fit for me. That makes sense. Do you also help people sell their houses? Yes, I do. I help people make their house look nice so other people want to buy the house. And then I find the right person to buy it. Your job sounds like a lot of work, but it also sounds interesting. It can be busy, but I love it. Every day is different. Every house is unique and every person has a different story. I agree. Every job has its challenges. But when you enjoy what you do, it makes everything easier. That's true. And I think it's great that you help people with their money. It's very important to have a good plan for the future. Thank you. Just like finding the right home is important, managing money well is also important in a happy life. Yes, our jobs are very important. Definitely. It was nice talking to you about our jobs. I learned a lot. Me too. It's always interesting to hear about different jobs and what people do. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hello there. My name is John. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. My name is Lisa. Nice to meet you, Lisa. Are you enjoying this party? Yes, I am. The host of the party is my friend Mark. Do you know him? Yes, I do. I know him from work. He is my co-worker. Oh, that's nice. What do you do for work? I'm an engineer. 
What about you? I am a teacher. That's a great job. What do you teach? I teach English to kids. It's fun, but sometimes hard. I can imagine kids can be a handful. Yes, they can. But they are also very sweet. That's true. So, do you like music? Yes, I love music. The music here is good. I agree. Do you have a favorite kind of music? I like rock music. How about you? I like jazz music. It is very relaxing. Jazz is nice. I like it too. That's good to hear. Do you like to travel? I love to travel. I went to Spain last year. Spain is beautiful. I have been there too. Really? What cities did you visit? I went to Barcelona and Madrid. Both are great cities. I loved Barcelona. Me too. The food was amazing. Yes, Spanish food is very tasty. It is. Do you like sports? Not really. I like to watch, but I don't play. That's fair. I like to play soccer on weekends. Nice. That's good exercise. Yes, it is. Exercise is important. I agree. I like to walk a lot. Yes, walking is good for you. It's good for the mind too. Yes, it is. Well, it was nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you too, Lisa. Have a good time. You too. Enjoy the party. Listen to the English conversation and practice speaking. Hello there. Sorry to bother you, but could you help me? I need some help with directions. Yes, of course. Where do you need to go? I need to find the nearest train station. Do you know where it is? Yes, I do. The nearest train station is about ten minutes away by walking. Can you tell me how to get there? Sure. First, you go straight on this road. Walk for about five minutes. Okay, go straight and walk for five minutes. What do I do next? Then you will see a big store on your left. It's a grocery store with a green sign. Okay, a store with a green sign. Yes, turn left at that store. Turn left at the store. Okay, what do I do next? After that, walk for another three minutes. You will pass a park on your right. Do I keep walking past the park? Yes. Keep walking until you see a traffic light. A traffic light. Okay. What do I do when I get there? At the traffic light, turn right. The train station is just there. You will see it. Okay. Great. I think I will be able to get there now. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Is this your first time in the city? Yes, it is. I'm here for a job interview. That's exciting. Good luck with your interview. Thank you. I'm a little nervous, but anyway, thank you for the directions. No problem at all. Have a great day. If you want to continue learning English, click on this video here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and practice your English in the comments below.